Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. And over to the house. I'm glad y'all came in to visit me today. Whether you're viewing this video in the morning, noon, or after, well, the morning, noon, or evening hours, okay? Or hell, on your lunch break. Or you don't got in bed and you just need me to take you on to sleep, okay? However you're viewing it, whenever you're viewing it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Child, I was scrolling. I was scrolling down the columns of gossip. Um, and I ran across this one that had to deal with Mr. Peter. Peter, Peter, Punky, Eater. Had a wife who couldn't gape her. All right. We know he loves expensive women that got money. Okay. So he can schmooze off of them. And it looks the same that his friend, Shaba, man, Shaba, is the same way. And he's doing it to Nene. But y'all do remember way back, way back when, okay? When Nene called Peter slash a.k.a. Patricia a female dog. Y'all remember that, right? You remember she called him a bitch. She was too much acting like a bitch. Into the women's business. Well, hey, I can see why now Nene was mad. I can see why. We get this story. Who we get a story from? Come on, I don't want to the cookies. From Reality T. Yes, indeed. And I, Angie G wrote up the article. Okay, so sit down. Take a seat. Party on down to the SKP. We kick Just kick it. Just kick it. Hey, but anyway. <sighs> get y'all in the mood. So I hope y'all got y'all favorite ber beverage. Or y'all sitting in the sofa on the bed with a little Afghan. Because it's cold in my house. I had to turn one of the mac conditioners off. Okay, I had to turn it off. It was freezing like I was in Antarctica. I said, damn, this shit is working real good. This year? What, what, what I've been doing last year? It was just getting slightly taste of a cool air. You know what I'm saying? Where you were like, ooh, let me get my swirl. But damn, this air conditioning, this year, I guess because we got it cleaned out or something. Woo, child. But anyway, I got off subject. I do that from time to time, okay? But y'all, my family, y'all got to bring me back. Bring me back to why we came here tonight for a discussion. Okay? Child. The headline reads, Peter Thomas says Cynthia Bailey and Nene Leakes were upset with him getting camera time on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And it is plausible. I believe it. I really do. Because I I don't remember if it was, uh, yeah, it was Peter. He was talking about a certain percentage he got off of Cynthia's check for the acting or her him helping her with her, her storyline and being part of the show. I didn't know that. I did not know that Bravo cut them a check, but it's off of the women's check. But I'll get into the article and maybe it'll all come clear to us all. Okay, it says, Producer Carlo King, this is when he was there uh, in his heyday over at the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. It says he worked on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, made a bold claim that Peter Thomas has star quality. Okay, Peter always like he has star quality. Look how many women he done ran through and married. And I ain't none of one of them women he was messing with didn't have no money. They had money, okay? And Peter was trying to get his hands on it. But that's not in this latest article. That's just my sidebar. But anyway, uh, producer Carlo King, who worked on Real Housewives of Atlanta, made a bold claim that Peter Thomas has star quality, according to Cheat Sheet. It was news to me, too. But we know this guy loves a mess. And we do know Peter loves to put himself in, or I, I, guess, I guess I should say insert himself. And then wait for the fallout. Because he don't care. He was just trying to make him some money and make him a little bit more, uh, what do you call it? 
a little bit more lack of a better word i guess i could say seen you know people are talking about them people are checking for them you know and if he's around he's around the right people he would get more exposure okay but anyway going back to the article it says carlos revealed that while most of the other housewives franchises centered around the women including the husbands on real housewives of Atlanta, made sense given the charisma of their partners during his podcast reality with the king uh, Carlos said that adding Peter made Cynthia's Bailey's storyline interesting. Shady, shady, shady. And I was like, no, ain't no shade about that hell. We knew Cynthia was boring as hell. She wasn't nothing but a, a little log, uh, we call it, a lock on a log, a little rock on a log, or a bump on a log, or shit, I don't know. She was in the forest with the trees, and we couldn't find her. That's how her situation was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because anybody that would draw up a friendship contract, get mad and put it or set it aside in the faucet area in the kitchen that needs some serious therapy that's all i can say about that situation and i'm gonna move on from there okay but it says not everyone on the real housewives cast was welcoming to peter joining in on filming uh though namely cynthia bailey's best friend ty at the time nene leaks according to carlos king peter challenged nene's qu queen b status all right, we were talking camera. We were taking cameras time away from them. Peter and Peter told Carlos, "That's why Nene told me to stay out of women's business. Why? Because I'm taking more camera time." Peter asked. "I've got some ish I want to promote too." Meeting S H I T. Y'all know where I'm going with it. Shit. All right. Um, he was saying he needed he needed the air time to promote on air and advertise for whatever he was getting into and it's probably those bar one restaurants franchises he's buying up and you know here and there they go belly up or they're on the last leg of being closed almost being closed but that's allegedly but he went on to say um uh she didn't like that ish at all for what it's worth I didn't like it either. <laughs> Carlos added, behind the scenes, what people don't know is Cynthia used to be mad at you for what you felt like you were taking away scenes from her and making the scenes about you and interfering with her friendship with Nene. Peter agreed and added, I thought that was the dumbest thing ever. See how he's shading? He is shading her like shit, okay? He is shading her like dog shit. And I'm talking about Peter sh uh, shading uh, Cynthia. But anyway, we go on back. Peter saw the show and probably his relationship with Cynthia in general as a money-making opportunity. <laughs> well, they said that, right? Because, yes, he all about that money. He all about them bags, okay? Um, he explained that the whole purpose of why we were on the show is because of the money. They were paying her and the exposure that we were getting as a couple. So, the more we taped, either myself or her, but when the cameras were gone, she felt the race of the girls, especially Nene. Peter recalled going to bed every night with Cynthia on the phone with Nene. He said, I used to go to bed every night and they're on the phone. I used to wake up every morning and they're on the phone. And I'm like, yo, why are you talking to the enemy? Yo, why are you calling your wife's friend enemies? Okay. <laughs> and it ended with like focus on your bills honey i'm like do y'all think peter added to or took away from the real housewives of atlanta did cynthia have a storyline without him on uh, my point my perspective hell no cynthia didn't have a storyline peter was entertaining and he was keeping it fresh with trying to you know have a little guy's time chit chat when you know they had a full scene with everybody and Paulo and um, Peter was something else, honey. Peter used to always stay in shit. And Paulo was always looking very fine as hell. Okay, cute, 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 cute. He came out of jail looking cute. He's still cute, okay? Ain't got much of a brain up there, but he's still cute, okay? He good eye candy. And then you had the uh, infamous, okay, Greg Leakes with all his dapperness and all his OGness, you know, just looking like a well preserved bottle of wine, you know what I'm saying? She just want to drink up, drink up the knowledge that he had to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Like you could sit with a conversation with Greg and 
the shit be prolific. You be like, oh, you learned all that? Where you get that from? You know, it's like he's dropping nuggets, and you need to pick them nuggets up and use them in your life. Okay? Some of the shit was probably shady, but he gave you a tool to use to not ever get caught with doing something, you know, crazy out there. Or people that didn't think you would be doing stuff like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Use your imagination if you don't know. Um, And then we had Todd Tucker. Little Tim Todd Tucker. Okay? It's what we call him over here when we get mad. But he's Todd Tucker now. You know? <laughs> uh, when those four used to get together, that was just trouble. Trouble, 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 trouble. But I like to see educated black men sitting and having a conversation about life. You know what I'm saying? It was a beautiful thing when they were all on there. It was a beautiful thing. But that's all I got for this particular um video. But it seemed like Carlos King is being real shady. I mean, shady as shit. Did he really have something? Or he concocted that story and made Phaedra tell Portia because they knew Portia was going to leak it out because she was the weakest link on the team at the time. What y'all think about that? But I thought it was very interesting. We are still using Peter and Apollo Nida in the franchise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't even getting paid. They ain't even on the show. But I guess they would get paid if they made episodes or they, you know, attended and were shot in episodes. So I guess they would get a little coin. You know what I'm saying? Little dollars they can put back in the bank or spend it however they want to do it. But Sheree got him as a model. I mean, Apollo coming up before the sh uh, season end. And I think Peter was just there, I guess, uh, to be there with his friend and, you know, try to muster up some more stuff to where he can make some more business deals happen. <coughs> because that show with um, the housewives' husbands that he was trying to work on, I think it would have been cute with them both. It would they would have probably took the franchise franchise a little higher because it was just you know black men. You know, doing some darn thing. Now, we have to forgive, you know, Apollo here and there because he shouldn't have been doing that shit. But, you know, sometimes that's how life gets down. You be really running with someone who's really deep in drug dealing. You know what I'm saying? Or, or <coughs> yeah, laundering money. You know, those type of things. You never know until you get caught. You don't never know what people are doing for their income, for their livelihood, or their hustle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, but, like, see no evil, tell no evil, speak no evil, okay? Is that speak no evil, hear no evil, see no evil. I think that's what it is. But um, that's all I got for this particular video. Jaden, hush. And uh, I will see y'all next time, okay? Y'all be breezy. Bye.